Now coming to the second part is how you are going to manage those unsubscribe. So preference center, obviously preferences is the choices. Now in the preferences is you have also have to honor those choices. Maybe uh, accidentally or by, you know, or virtue of the first consents, you are sending all the communications to your subscriber. But uh, let's say the doctor basically doesn't want to hear uh, regarding new equipments that is being launched for uh, diabetologies. Uh, he is more inclined towards uh, oncologists. So has unsubscribed from those communications. Now, when he's unsubscribing, he might be, you know, you are sending too many emails to the person, to the doctor. And he's a doctor, definitely. He is a very respected person in the society. And at that moment, he might be, you know, really uh, gone out of the track and he said no i don't want to receive any communication from you anymore. you have to honor that request now when you're honoring either you are unsubscribing that person from all subscriber list in marketing cloud and at the same time maybe you might be sending the consents that uh, unsubscription updates to uh, sales cloud or to any other upstream system and also my uh, methodology of working with unsubscription is i not only honor in the all subscriber but I'm definitely going to store those information into a data extension. We'll discuss the data extension part about data modeling in great detail. You know where the data is coming from, okay? Uh, your subscribers, where, how you are managing the unsubscribe. All this being said, the most important thing is the account, or the architecture of your uh, SFMC account, how you have defined. So how you have defined the architecture will be, there might be one parent business unit, and there might be multiple child business unit, okay? And Whenever you're adding contacts or subscribers into marketing cloud, it always resides at the parent. So how you're basically maintaining the child parent relationship and how the data will flow, you have to have a very, very, uh, very deep understanding of it. When you're uh, planning for this also, one important point we'll go in very in depth into is with respect to subscriber key. How you're maintaining the subscriber key? What is your thought process about defining which words will be the subscriber key for a subscriber? and then the communication channel which is most important for me right because now the trend towards sms is definitely going to be a big one but nowadays everybody nowadays will have their phone handy right in the hand and you know uh, they are doing something always either in the pocket or somewhere and whenever notifications <laughs> pops up i think nowadays everybody will uh, they will open and click right so the click through rate and open for sms will be huge uh, with respect to email for email they might be inclined of saying, okay i'll see the email later but for sms and whatsapp i think it is so this is about collecting the data now the okay, challenge okay, so someone has a question jay uh, sashi like i wanted to ask since we are talking about subscriber key and you just mentioned like what we uh, we decide to keep subscriber key as I was just wondering, like, uh, is it uh, a good idea to keep subscriber key as an email address? I don't prefer email address to be the subscriber key. Uh, yeah, because you are hitting one topic, which is uh, basically a lot of uh, discussion required here. Yeah? Mm? Okay, sure. Uh, I, was just giving, yeah, I, was just giving, I was just giving you an overview. But yeah, when we go to that topic of subscriber key, definitely I'm going to explain why I don't prefer email address sure sure yes thank you but initially if you don't have the source system from where you are basically bringing the subscribers into marketing cloud then till that point i i'm okay with uh, email address it is basically will be unique right and uh, any duplicate email address will also not add it to your contacts it has advantages as well but uh, my preference is not to go with email address now moving forward is yeah i'm so sorry uh, even i have one question and i guess it is little relevant to this topic also and let me know if you, if you feel that uh, you can you would like to answer that question lately but uh, i mean i wanted to ask let's say uh, when data is flowing from sales cloud or a different cloud into marketing cloud and uh, mm -hmm. that data get captures i guess through synchronized data extension so uh, what I wanted to know is this, uh, let's say there is a subscriber whose email address is updated. So the subscriber has abc at gmail.com initially. And now the subscriber has updated his email address xyz at gmail.com. So hmm. uh, is it going to be updated in all subscriber list also? I guess not. 
and uh, how, how we can update it in the all subscriber list because i guess it is just going to get updated in data extension oh, why you keep guessing sweet uh, because uh, you you brought this topic and then i thought of this uh, situation i was uh, once in and yeah, someone asked it's me, a good how, question question i asked you why you are guessing oh why am i guessing i mean because i have never <laughs> been in this situation so i can only guess i mean i don't know the answer and so that's why i thought maybe i can ask if you can tell me be casual with me i'm okay uh, i'm very casual so you know, question is good like what uh, j j j sri was also asking was a very good question actually what you are asking is also a very good question uh, when we go very deep there okay i don't want to deviate from the path but i'll give you a very short answer hmm. is it open for others no. okay. oh you want to give the answer okay no even i want to share my guess uh, sumit if i was wrong i'm happy to no, uh, sumit yeah actually when you synchronize the data extension from another cloud to marketing cloud updates will be done for every 15 minutes yeah i mean we have this choice of 15 30 minutes 60 minutes but this data get gets captured in a data extension not in That's the all the list uh, okay let me stop sashi take care uh, lakshmi yeah so what, if if you go into every you know uh, nitty gritties will we will be deviating to from the topic to some other topic <laughs> it will save our time uh, in discussing the, the uh, actual point which are uh, this session is being basically being designed for uh, sumit i'll tell you what uh, when you say to somebody is updating the email address if you are uh, sending it via a journey and you, in the journey you have a setting to select which email address you are going to send an email and if the email address has been updated and you are setting a uh, source entry attribute has this particular email address has to be sent then it will definitely going to update all subscriber when you are sending in it if you are doing an import process whenever a new update is coming into marketing cloud and you can have an automation setup to import all those subscribers into all contacts into all subscriber at that moment also if you find a new email address that is coming in and you are updating to all subscriber that can also be done and if you are doing guided send or some other sends though it will not update all subscriber with the new email address it will always be the old one so uh, keep that topic in your mind okay if you get some time we'll go there uh, the challenge okay so now the challenge is uh, that is i put it in a very because i know you all have explained in very uh, very well uh, what was preferences right expand the audience and understand what are their choices right and how do you are going to prefer to start sending the communication okay now with the unsubscribe is you have to basically it is by law you have to honor the request can spam is for us okay uh, and for us uh, as per can spam you have 10 days to honor maybe you know not immediately but you can take your time till 10 days and then honor it okay is as per the law obviously nowadays everything is real time so the honor request should also be real time for me but this is as per law now there there is the another another part to this layer of this challenges is what if today i unsubscribe or i make my choices that i just want email communication hmm? later maybe my choice might change and i say okay now i want to get the email and sms or whatsapp okay and also uh, i had basically unsubscribe for this particular newsletter now i want to again receive it now hmm? maybe he was in weekend and he said oh i don't want any disturbance during my uh, family time right and later on once he come back and said oh okay i missed a lot of things now but again i want it so the very important aspects with preference center and everything is the resubscription uh, hope everybody is trying to catch up with me uh, if yes. you are feeling that uh, you need more clarity ask more question relevant to this topic not uh, to other things we'll definitely touch every point if we get some time now what is the solution hmm? so before before i go to solution again i want to say uh, understand this data management is one of the very important thing when you're defining preference center okay managing those unsubscribe is the second important thing and the third one is to understand the how your architecture is built for marketing cloud okay now i'm going to the solution so custom preference center okay how i'm going to implement so my 